Hey guys, it's Mike. I wanted to show you real quick here how to build SDI. I'm building a um, Belden 1855 today that's a little bit um, thinner than the normal stuff that you see, like the Belden 1694. Um, this is the stuff that you'll find in most racks and production trucks, um, but we build, it, uh, we build it just the same. It's a uh, King's Connector designed for that cable, so a little bit different size and then we use slightly different size crimp, but the whole process is the same. All that being said, so the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is take our connector, open it up. I usually just take, take a look in the bag, make sure all the parts are there before I dump that out. You wanna take this guy, slide it down the cable. If you're doing a really long cable, I usually put a little knot in the cable real, real loose so it doesn't slide away. This is a little shorty for a patch rack, so not a big deal. So I'll take that. All right, so there we go. We've got that stripped. You can see it if we take that off, take that off, and then we're gonna put, pull the foil back. Take that guy off. And then just open this guy up here. Trying to do this, make sure you guys can see it on camera as well as can see it. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna crimp this pin in place. We're gonna take that, crimp the pin, so that's now on. Take our end, put our, put our end in, and then the slit all the way down the other side. We're just gonna pull this guy up, align that. That goes into our crimp tool just like that, and then crimp that all the way down. We got both ends on. Take our handy cable tester, plug that in, plug that in. Two pins each side, we're good to go. That'll pass SDI. So there you go. Just a uh, quick, simple look at how to build the little stuff, um, the big stuff is the same, it's just different dies, and you would use a different uh, different crimp on the, uh, on the cable itself, not the little one. So, all right, there you go. Have fun making cables.